Hey girls, I'm here for my 19 week update. Thankfully this weekend has, hasn't been as eventful as the last couple of weekends, so that makes me really happy. Um, this video might be a little short, so I apologize. I hope you guys don't mind, but short videos are good videos. That usually means good news. So we had a ultrasound yesterday, and it was just um, the last little bit of our anatomy scan because I did have her anatomy scan. Um, with the high-risk doctor and they just needed to get a few more shots because baby girl was moving around so much that they couldn't get the proper pictures so it was just a quick 15 minute ultrasound. I tried to do the 3D pictures because my placenta is anterior it was kind of covering her face a little bit but um, some of the pictures that we got were really cute so pretty funny because during the ultrasound she kicked me really hard and you could see it she like drew her leg way way back and then just flexed it all the way out it was really funny movements are definitely getting more stronger. I can feel her moving a lot when I'm laying on my side or my back or I'm just kind of relaxing. It used to be her favorite time to be active, which I don't mind at all because I just, I love laying there, you know, at night and just feeling her move around. As far as my symptoms go, same thing, so the nausea, that's pretty much the most common one. I haven't really had an appetite lately. Um, it's just kind of been just random things, random things that sound good. Um, which I remember during this time during Dallas's pregnancy, my appetite started to slow down a lot. More and more difficult to find things that, you know, sounded good. I haven't gained any weight this entire pregnancy. My doctor actually really isn't that concerned about it. She hasn't really brought it up to us. Baby girl is definitely doing well. She's healthy. She's measuring in the 95th percent, up to 10 ounces, I think. Um, so she is pretty, um, pretty right on track. She's you know, on track for her gestational age. Still haven't officially changed my due date. It's still um, at December 11th, but um, I think my OBGYN is keeping that date to kind of reference off of um, when to schedule my C-section because I am having a um, C-section during this pregnancy because I do have a cerclage and it's permanent and I can't give birth vaginally. So that's really the only downside to having the abdominal cerclage. So far everything is going well. It's holding up perfectly fine. The cervix is measuring four centimeters, which it is never, never in the history of my pregnancies has ever measured this long. So um, the cerclage is definitely doing its job. It's just the only thing that's you know, kind of been an issue are the contractions. My doctor did say that if they become more frequent and I'm noticing them a lot more than I have been, um, to just come in and get checked out and make sure that I'm at preterm labor and nothing else is going on. As far as the, as far as the Braxton Hicks goes, I'm still having them. Um, she said, you know, it might just be somebody that gets them early, but I do need to keep an eye on them and make sure that, um, it's not an issue. So I am getting steroid shots. I had them during Dallas's pregnancy, but it was when I was actually in preterm labor. I mean, this, time, this time around at 23 weeks to make sure that her lungs are mature just in case she decides to come early, which we are crossing our fingers and praying that it doesn't happen. My belly has definitely popped out, um, which is surprising because I have lost so much weight. Um, I feel like I'm a lot bigger than what I was with Dallas. Um, it might just be because you know, this is my fourth pregnancy and, you know, even with miscarriages, your uterus doesn't go back to its original size. I mean, it, it goes down, but it's never like what it was before. I'm starting to, you know, really um, trying to get creative with what I'm wearing um, because my clothes are starting to fit a little bit tighter. I only have a couple of maternity items and things that I can wear um, this summer, which I'll, I'm going to do a maternity haul and baby by haul. I'm actually just waiting for a couple more things to come in the mail and then I'll be doing that video. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm sorry this video is kind of short, but like I said, short short videos are good videos. Um, so I will see